What's up, everybody? Welcome to the biggest fight in UFC history between Brock Lesnar and CM Punk. Are you guys ready for this one? What we're going to do in this video, we are going to use CM Punk, who's the worst fighter in this game, and we're going to go up against Brock Lesnar on the hardest setting on Legendary. Are you guys ready for this? Thank you so much for tuning in. For all you people that don't know, EA Sports just added Brock Lesnar to this game. I've never seen his model yet, so you're going to get my um, <laughs> true live reaction to this new model. I cannot wait, but we are up for it, man. What we're going to do is we're going to try twice to beat Brock Lesnar using CM Punk, all right? And I apologize in advance if this video is a little long, but let's see if we could do it. <laughs> for all you people that don't know, CM Punk has the worst stats, man, in this game. And it's warranted, man. It's definitely warranted because he uh, made the plunge and tried to go from WWE inside the UFC. And um, some people would say he failed miserably, but I really feel that he was a success, man, because he really <laughs> tried, man. He really put himself out there. But let's not joke around, man. CM Punk can't really fight. You guys saw him. Man, I'll never forget that Mickey Gall fight. Holy cow, man. Seeing him just going forward in that very um, amateur stance was just so sad to see. But anyway, we're going to see Brock Lesnar. Are you ready for this? Let's see. Let's see what he looks like. Here we go, man. I'm so pumped up. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Brock Lesnar, the biggest man in WWE history. <laughs> That's Jim Ross. You guys watch wrestling from back in the day. Jim Ross was always so funny. Oh, my God. Brock Lesnar! <laughs> he was always like way too excited for certain moments, but man, I cannot believe that he is in here. I'm so proud that EA Sports added him, and I'm in story mode, man. I remember seeing Brock Lesnar back in the day, back in the early 2000s when um, WrestleMania was in my hometown from Toronto. I'm from Toronto, and I went to Fan Access with a bunch of buddies, and after meeting Stacy Keebler, if you don't know who Stacy Keebler is, you gotta Google her, but I met her in person. And I was like totally out of it for a while. And we were walking away from Stacey Keebler and we saw a demo ring. And we saw two guys fighting. And one guy was massive with this crazy tattoo. And he was wrestling. And we went up and I'm like, oh my gosh. I was telling my buddy Andrew. I'm like, dude, I don't think I've ever seen a guy that big in my life. And I'll never forget there was a guy standing beside us with a NWO Razor Ramon t-shirt on. And he's like, that guy over there, his name is Brock Lesnar. And I'm like, what? What kind of name is that? He doesn't have like a cool name like Edge, Hulk Hogan, or the Ultimate Warrior. And the guy's like, no, that's what, that's his name. That's his real name, Brock Lesnar. And then I thought to, to myself, I'm like, he's not really going to make it inside the WWE if he uses his real name. And I totally ate my words because he's one of the biggest uh, wrestlers in WWE history and in UFC history for sure. So <laughs> here we go. Oh, man. My greatest Brock Lesnar moment, though, inside the Octagon would have to be when he beat Randy Couture because that was crazy. You beat a legend like that. And um, Brock had no... He only had, I think, one MMA fight prior to being in the UFC. <laughs> and CM Punk thought he could follow suit and do some damage inside the Octagon. But you really need to be a true athlete. And you really need to be you know, a lifetime mixed martial artist or a lifetime specialist to, um, you know, be successful inside the octagon. But um, you got to give it up for uh, CM Punk for trying. But here we go. Oh, I'm really nervous. So if you're wondering what my game plan is, I don't know, big boy. I don't know what my game plan is. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick and move a little bit, huh? I'm going to try to um, avoid the big lunchbox <laughs> hands of Brock Lesnar. And just be patient. So, like I said in the beginning, give me two tries, man. Give me two tries to beat this guy. <sighs> and you know that's so funny, Bruce Buffer. When he inter when he um, introduced Brock Lesnar from back in the day, I think it was UFC 100. He did the Buffer 360. He went Brock Les and then jumped in the air, did a 360, and said Lesnar. <laughs> it's so crazy. You got to YouTube that. YouTube, the Buffer 360, and you will not be disappointed. But here we go. Thank you so much for tuning in. Holy cow. The worst fighter in UFC history going up against one of the biggest physically and what? Socially? But here we go. I'm already, I'm already on my bicycle. Oh, I got to stick and move. Punk needs to move. No, we want... Brock wants to, wants to slow dance. He wants to clinch me up. Uh-oh. Oh, no way. 
This could be the beginning of the end early. Oh my gosh. And it is on the hardest setting. Oh, I denied it. I keep on saying it's on the hardest setting. I'm going to stop saying that. <laughs> I'm in pure try-hard mode right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at that. Like... And I have this weird thing. If you're familiar with this game, I always tap L1. I don't know why. Oh! Look at this! Oh, we're gonna pause drop. No way. This could be... It's the biggest fight in UFC history. This could be the biggest upset. <laughs> I gotta get up though. Okay, I had to be sneaky about it. Because I don't want Brock. I don't want Brock to um, deny my. See that? He's denying me. No way. No way. R2 and up! Come on! I'm fired up, man. I'm amped up. And I even lowered the volume of the crowd. Um, to give you guys kind of like the COVID experience. It's intimate. <laughs> oh, no way. This could be already the beginning of the end. This fight just started. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, I'm going from telling jokes, being into good old story mode, to being in game mode. Now I'm whispering. I think the key is, in this situation, we just gotta be defensive. It's not worth it. It's gonna go up. Come on, go up. See, it's not worth it. He's... It's not worth it. No way. There we go. I just got to be patient, man. We're in this for the long haul. And it's even a feather in our cap to um, survive the round, really. And this is good for us. You know what? If you, if you want to do this, Brock, if you want to... I know winter's around the corner. If you want to give me a warm blanket, if you know what I mean... And just lay on top of me. I'm fine with that, man. I am definitely fine with that. But <laughs> we didn't win that round. We didn't win that round. And, you know, I'm not the best in math. I'm not getting emotional. I had uh, some tacos for lunch. And now I'm getting the burpees, brother. There we go. Right into the bread basket. Let's go, man. People want to see a fight, man. This is not WWE. People, people want to see the fists fly. You know? Let him. Let's go. Come on, big boy. Is that all you got? What? I'm holding the um. <laughs> I'm hold. I'm, man, I'm such a whiner. But I'm holding the uh, denying command. I guess it's undeniable. <laughs> Brock Lesnar's takedowns. Come on, Brock. You're a, a cure to insomnia with this. But I'm really um, lasering in on Brock's torso. Oh, no, he thought twice about it. Wow, a lot of fakes. Are we going to get it? We get it. There we go. This is good, man. This is good. He wants to grind it out. We are going to Mary J. Oblige, baby. <laughs> and you know who they have to add in this game? They got to add The Undertaker. You know Brock and The Undertaker had some feuds, man. Wouldn't that be amazing? If you load the game up and all of a sudden it says, Through the darkness of eternal damnation, Brock Lesnar, you will rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be amazing. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Let's lay some leather on this big boy, huh? What was for lunch? Steroids? What was for lunch? 
Look at Brock. He's exhausted. I gotta just keep on doing what I'm gonna do. He's gonna go a different way. Watch. Oh, he goes the same way. No way. No. Wow, he's really... This is um, a crazy AI. Because he's really trying everything. We are just going to hang out here. Holy cow. He's relentless off of his back. No way. No way. All right. I keep on kissing my teeth. Don't kiss your teeth. Brush them. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun, Dad. I'm telling you, it's all going to go downhill. Well, look at the wrestling ability. It's all going to go downhill if we get the loss. But you could argue that was our round. Huh? Good old Mo was on our side. Momentum. Oh, my gosh. And Brock. Brock looks concerned. Look at that face. He looks concerned. Come on. There we go. They're showing <laughs> punk highlights. Yeah. <laughs> Punk having the best round of his life right there. It's a seesaw battle, but here we go. Let's bear down. I'm going to say it's 1-1. One, one. I just have to continue. Ooh. Come on, Brock, huh? See, it's a lot of this. Oh, gosh. I should have known better, man. Should have known better. See, that's good. That's good. See, I don't want to get impatient. I think it's one one or two denials and you're toast. Let's be honest. Nice. You could tell Punk has been training his jujitsu. <laughs> oh, there we go. We get the reversal. And this is good. Just got to be patient. Definitely just have to be patient. Don't bargain. <laughs> don't don't bargain. No, no. See, I almost I almost got a little overconfident right there. We got to just sit here. Grind it out. You know? Nice. And look how Punk Punk has grown into a heavyweight. <laughs> Lesnar has shrunk on the mat. Oh no. No way. Why would you stand us up? Brock was doing all that damage on us. The moment I'm telling you, the moment he uh, was at a disadvantage, it's like the UFC is uh, <laughs> having these fights staged. The only UFC fight, hold on, the only UFC fight that I think was ever staged was um, UFC 4, Oleg Tektarov versus Anthony Mad Dog Macias. You guys remember that? I think they were training partners, and Tektarov. Um, went on to face uh, Dan Severn in the final. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay. I promise I am not going to go off and tell some stories right here because we are in a grind. We really are. Let's see which way he's going to go. Oh no, he's posturing up. Oh no. I'm not you're probably sitting at home and you're like how come he's not moving as much as he should you know in online matches you're able to take your chances but against the legendary AI the um, margin of error is so slim or so low and this is a dominant position <laughs> yeah, there we go so the referee is not going to be very eager to stand us up and this is, this is such a grind. I was not expecting this. There we go. Full guard. And in my opinion, let's, yeah, let's lock one in. Just for the points. Just for the judges. In my opinion, I think that was his round. Definitely think that was his round. So it's two rounds to one. You know, we still have a couple more rounds. <laughs> we really got to get this next round. Because if we don't, we have to finish him in the fifth round. So here we go, man.
<laughs> oh, if you're still watching, <laughs> thank you so much. They really need to add the um, 80s legends. Imagine they added Macho Man. Let me tell you something, brother. I'm too cold to touch, too hot to handle. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, I pre-denied that. Let's give him some uppercuts. We're pushing. I'm pushing forward to avoid this. See that? Oh my gosh. Pushing forward to avoid him getting that takedown. But Brock is—he's wearing it though, isn't he? He's definitely wearing. Talking about the stamina. There we go. Get the reversal. Hopefully, we can keep him down here and Dan, <laughs> the referee, doesn't <laughs> decide to stand us up. Let's see where he goes. Let's see where he goes. Oh. Oh, he's punching with the wrong hand. Denied. Oh no. Gotta watch out for a submission here. Really feel like I'm doing a good job denying his transitions. And you know what? That is one thing. Oh, that's one thing that's really gonna be draining him out. Let's posture up. Here we go. Oh, Brock's forgetting to block his face. <laughs> oh no! Don't get it's giving Oh I it totally ruined my throat, my flow right there. It was giving me advice on how to fight. Look at this game. This game does not want you to beat Brock Lesnar using CM Punk. Imagine, <laughs> imagine some hidden, something hidden comes out of this. Like I don't know, some hidden character is is revealed. <laughs> now I really want to win this fight. That's some good damage by Punk. Just gotta keep on doing this. Here we go. But again, I'm running out of stamina. I'm running out of stamina. No way. Let's let's posture up. Oh, nice head, <laughs> nice head movement off the back. This is crazy. We are getting into what is a pretty crazy chess match. And Punk, I'm telling you, Punk is a pillow fighter at this point. There we go, just land one. You know, at this point, this deep into the fight, I don't think we're gonna do a second fight. Let's, let's land some shots here. Oh, it's gotta be 2-2. It's gotta be 2-2, and this is re really living up to the hype. <laughs> is it? <laughs> what a fight. What? Why are they showing... They're showing Brock highlights, but man, we are posturing up, landing bombs. Well, I don't know about bombs. Landing pillow shots. But here we go, final round. Final round. Let's see what happens. Here we go, man. This is it. The finale. Let's see. I'm going to pre deny holding that takedown button. There we go. And, and, and CM Punk, he doesn't have an overhand. Okay. Nice sidestep by Brock. <laughs> oh, come on. We're gonna try to sprawl. We're gonna try to take our chances. Hold on. Oh. Let's see. Get up. Oh yeah. Oh, nice on the break. Here we go. That's not good for us. Oh, big smelly up the middle. This is crucial time, man. Oh no. <laughs> he definitely has the size advantage. <laughs> he definitely has the size advantage. Come on, Brock. The fans don't want to see this. Look at him, he's, he's exhausted. Both guys are tired. I gotta watch out for that submission though. No, no. 
Here we go. Get the reversal. Punk needs some oxygen. Look at that top right corner. I don't have anything left. But maybe if we can score some points here, the judges will <laughs> give us this round. You get points for um, transitioning. There we go. Oh, we get the mount. That's big. We had it just for a second there. All right. Oh, that was a weird animation. I just can't do anything here. Here we go. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Still got a minute or so left. Both guys are... Have you ever seen this before? Jeez, both guys exhausted. Trying to just make the most of this. But this top game right here, come on. This is a close fight, man. You know, I went into this joking around, but... This is a close fight. Here we go. What? You know why I can't posture up? Because I have no stamina. Uh-uh, Brock. Let's go. You gotta give us this round. Come on. <laughs> this is gonna be a controversial. <laughs> In the comments, everyone's gonna be... Oh, no. Oh, that's not good for us. Oh, what a fight. Here we go. As Dana would say, never leave it into the hands of the judges. And did you see that? Punk kind of gave him a dirty look. Here we go. Could it be? Oh my gosh. I'm standing right now. I'm standing up. Here we go. Three judges score the contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And Yeah! The impossible! <laughs> the impossible happens. CF Punk, baby, with the upset of all time, man. The biggest upset in UFC history. The biggest fight in UFC history. What a fight. I never thought it would be a chess match like that, but holy cow. We stayed patient. We stuck to our strengths, and we got the W. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, my gosh, man. I'm so excited. I got to go celebrate right now. Keep it locked here, guys, for more fun UFC and even some WWE content, man. I'll surprise you from time to time. But keep it locked here. All the best to you and yours. I'm out of here. Peace and love. Are you intoxicated or something?